Thanks for joining us this morning here on In Wheel Time with Don and Mike on News Talk 1070 KNTH. This is our Keep It Running segment where we give you tips and answer your questions about vehicle maintenance. Uh, if you've got a question about your car, truck, or SUV, give us a call right here at In Wheel Time. Our hotline number is 713-339-1070. And today's Keep It Running segment is brought to you by BG Products. And speaking of BG Products... Oh, yes, they're giving away a free... Say that again. Free BG oil service with MOA, which is motor oil additive, each week to four lucky in wheel time listeners. And it's so easy to win. Yeah. All you have to do is email your name, phone number, and zip code to info at inwheeltime.com and you'll be entered to win. The next time you need a coolant flush, transmission, power steering, or differential service, be sure to ask for BG by name. Now, BG products are used by the best dealers and service facilities around including John Eagle Honda, Knapp Chevrolet, Colony One Automotive, Spring Branch Honda, our Demontron Auto Group, and there's many more. So don't forget, head to your computer right now. Send us your name, phone number, and zip code so you'll be entered in the BG Products Oil Service Giveaway. Learn all about BG Products at bgfindashop.com. And also, God, it just keeps rolling on. It's just so good. Besides winning a BG Oil Service, you'll also get a $10 gift certificate to Burritos, Burritos and Tacos right there in Sugar Land, so you can actually get your oil change and feed your family. How about that? Uh huh. And if you'd like to have a margarita, you can get lit up too. Oh, we can do that. All right. That sounds like fun. Got a special guest in the studio this morning. His name is Ed Potter with Neste Oil. A brief background on that. Very good friend of mine, uh, Mark Horowitz. You have a friend? Uh, one. Okay. Uh -huh. just, just curious. Yeah. Mark Horowitz, uh, who works at Neste Oil. Very good friend of mine. Uh, we. Uh, Go to Burritos, as a matter of fact. We don't uh -huh. eat the burritos. We just drink a lot of margaritas together. Uh, told me about Ed. I said, man, that's a fascinating story to find out uh, from the oil industry side how the whole mystery of oil works. And I know how Jed Clampett shot the gun into the ground and oil came bubbling up and they put a hose there and he was a zillionaire. And that is exactly why Ed has a job today. Okay, good. He's, he's the guy that brought the garden hose and stuck it in that uh, bubble and crude and is making a gazillion dollars. Ed, good morning to you. Yeah, Thanks. I wish I was making a gazillion dollars. <laughs> You're working toward it though, aren't you? Yeah, maybe one day. Okay, so, and Neste Oil, what does, what does the company that you work for do? Yeah, Neste Oil is a, a, a Finnish from the country of Finland, Helsinki, Finland, is where we're based and we're a refiner and marketer of various uh, crude oils and make petroleum products, uh, fuels, and uh, the segment that I'm involved in is called base oils, which is essentially 90% of what you might find in a bottle, bottle of motor oil. Okay, what is, a, what is a base oil? What does that mean? Okay, it's a, it's a petroleum product that's been refined from crude, just like you would see, like they extract out of the Gulf of Mexico or South Texas or all around the world, there's crude fields everywhere, uh, Russia, Brazil, all kinds of different locations. They're then brought to refineries, and not, all, not every refinery is going to make a base oil. They're going to make fuels from it because there's obviously a huge market for fuels, gasoline and diesel and things like that. Right. But some refineries are going to go ahead and, and process a little bit of that crude oil into base oil. And so base oils are mineral oils that are used in a variety of different applications, all kinds of things that can actually even be fully refined down to baby oil. If you pull up a bottle, go buy a bottle of baby oil, you'll find that it's mineral oil. I thought that came from babies. See, I just learned <laughs> something right now. <laughs> nope. Yeah. That, well, but anyway, so base oils are the component that essentially makes up about 90% of a, a bottle of motor oil. Wow. And so, so what's the other 10%? It's additives and uh, different chemicals that are provided that give uh, that motor oil a, a different kind of performance or a certain kind of performance. So that's really the difference between uh, Valvoline and Haviland or any other kind of brand name motor oil. It's what they add to the base oil that makes it different. That's correct. My company is not a big marketer of uh, Finnish motor oil. Uh, we are in Finland. We're the number one motor oil company in Finland, but that's you know, not saying a whole lot really in this market. But uh, uh, but we market to those marketers, the Penza Oils, the Quaker States, which is all shell these days, uh, Babylines of the world, and then they do their stuff. They, look, they work with additive companies that come up with uh, the kind of packages they want to try to present to the marketplace. And, uh, and so that's where your motor oil is. Okay. So this oil that comes up out of the ground, it's black and it's gooky looking stuff, do they add anything to it? I mean, like you said, they're additives, but, but before that. No, uh, you know, that's crude oil. I mean, that's what you're getting out of the ground, and that's how what you're shipping all over the world, you know, comes out of, uh, you know, Russia or Brazil. 
But right. a big tanker comes to the Gulf of Mexico or wherever. And they'll go. They'll go to refinery. They're processing. And a refinery that. will do whatever they're, they're going to do with it. They're going to. They're going to. They're going to do all kinds of different processes that basically convert those molecules of crude into all the different things that, that we know of today in the, in the in the petroleum industry. Obviously, fuels and diesel are big. Uh, base oils, which end up in the motor oils, are really no more than about four percent of a barrel of crude. So it's a small component. Uh, but then you get, you know, products like asphalt, bottoms, all kinds of different things that come off uh, out of a barrel of crude. Your plastics and what have you are derived from crude. And there's also a difference between crudes. There's light crude and heavy crude. That's right. Um, I mean, you hear about the Arab type crudes and things like that. Those are light crudes, Those are right? light crudes. Uh, Venezuelan, I think, is known and Mexican is known as sort of a heavy crude. And so refineries have to be set up to process those kinds is of it, Is it thicker? Is it just the viscosity of it? Or? Um, I think, I really don't know. It's dirtier and more nasty to deal ah, okay. with than the heavy crudes. Uh, or, uh, okay, light so the crude. lighter crude is basically cleaner and they, they have to do less to it. I, yes, I believe that's right. Okay. Well, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so how do you get it transported from, say, Russia or the Middle East? Obviously, tankers are big. Tankers are big. Pipelines also are big. And so those are the predominant methods of moving large quantities because the more efficient means is moving big quantities. And refineries time. are everywhere? Everywhere, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, there's a lot here in the United States, big world-scale refineries, obviously, and they're located all around the world. Like I said, my company operates two refineries in Finland, and so most of our crude comes out of Russia, and, uh, and then we probably process that but uh, North Sea crudes are popular you know they you know they'll have one of the big oil wells Alaska as well and so that's mainly transported by a vessel and pipeline and things like that and then it make, makes it to its way to different refineries and refineries aren't necessarily owned by the oil companies they could be just refineries well, no, most of the refineries are owned by, by big oil companies, but also smaller independent guys. Like Valero is, is known for is the world's, or the country's largest refiner. And, In the United uh, States. United States. Uh -huh. right? and, uh, so, uh, so it's usually larger oil companies, but there are independent operating uh, refineries and things like that. That that's where that's where my agua gas comes from. The independence. <laughs> yeah, the independence. Yeah, <clears throat> it's uh, it's uh, Joe Blows down there on the Ship Channel. Uh, you can find them with the big bellowing refineries with all right. <laughs> all of that sort of thing. Wow, that's pretty interesting. It is. It's it's extremely interesting. So, uh, what exactly do you do at Neste? All right, my company Neste produces what I said that are base oils. So right. There are a certain kind of base oils called. There's broken down into different categories. Uh, ours are, are called extra high VI or extra high visco uh, viscosity index base oils. Um, they're they're on the verge of synthetic, and so some of your listeners may have seen the change in motor oils uh, and uh, in terms of viscosity and the li and the lighter grades that are becoming more right. popular. Mm -hmm. You're seeing more 5W30. Yes. In fact, that's the number one grade in the country right now. About 45 percent of the market is, is 5W30, and as we're all growing up, we all remember using stuff that was much heavier than that. 30 w. weight straight or, right. or 10 W30 at the most. Single grade, yeah. things, like, things like that. Well, the, my types of the types of base oils that I'm involved in lead us to those lighter grades of motor oils. And, and those are important these days because uh, of some of the things that have evolved in, in uh, Europe as well as in the United States. In Europe, there are, are le there's legislation that's actually uh, targeted and uh, uh, set standards for emissions uh, release in the in the in the amongst the automotive industry, and so the automotive manufacturers over there have had to come up with ways of making their cars operate more efficiently, and so they're uh, producing cars that uh, operate at, with higher power and lower and lower uh, and smaller engines, and so that taxes the motor oil that that makes your motor oil have to work harder, and so essentially what they're looking for are lighter viscosity motor oils, so they so they. Uh, so they reduce the amount of drag that's going on inside your right. engine. Mm -hmm. And when the engines operate more efficiently, you're not emitting as much CO2 into the atmosphere. Go kind of like sewing machine oil. Very fine, very thin tolerances are very tight within the engine. It's got to move a lot uh, easier. Uh, there's no drag on the engine, so you got to have a uh, lot lighter molecules. That's exactly right. That's yeah. exactly right. But at the same time, as you go lighter in viscosity, you can also increase the volatility because your boiling points tend to be lower in oil as viscosity goes down. Well, and that's not a good thing. And that's not a good thing. You don't want your motor oil to be oxidizing and, and, uh, and, and what have you. That's what all the additives do. That's, that's the, the, all the additives they put in there 
counteract all this kind of stuff. Hey, will right. you stick around next hour for sure. us? Sure. Yeah. You Can we you keep have, him awake? You don't. You, you, you don't have a soccer game. You got to attend to. This <laughs> no, morning, it's not till one thirty today. <laughs> okay, good. So you're going to stay. Ed Potter with Nest State Oil. He's going to be around for our next hour. We're going to get into more of all of this because I find it fascinating. Hey, we'd like to give a shout out to your local Ford dealers. Ford is the best in Texas. If you have a question for us here at In Wheel Time, shoot us an email at info at inwheeltime.com. Coming up, Toy Time. We'll have this weekend's events. And later, Drive It Home, Mike gives you his take on the Honda Cross Tour. You're listening to In Wheel Time with Don and Mike on News Talk 1070. Wipe that smile off your face. KNTH and streaming around the universe via InWheelTime.com. Hi.